Today we're going to be talking about... Welcome back to math. Today we're going to be talking about division. We're going to be using the shifting method to divide. So we're going to use our place value knowledge that we've learned so far, which may be scary, and we're going to use it to divide. So let's put our number up there. Our number is 321. So we're going to write that. Where would the 3 go? I just said it. 100. Where would the 2 go? 10. 10s. And the 1 goes? 1s. Now if we're going to divide, we're dividing. Now remember last time, we went in what direction when we were multiplying? When we multiplied, we went... We were... We are shifting to the left. So now that we are dividing, what are we going to do? We are going to shift to the to the right. Excellent, because we're actually going from big to small. Okay, so we're going to make our big number three hundred twenty-one, and we're going to make it smaller. How many times do you think we're going to have to shift it, and in which direction? Does anybody have an answer? Ooh. Go! Uh, 32.1, because there's one zero, so we would have to move it over one. Okay, so we're going to, like I said, how many times are we going to shift it? Once. 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 Why are we shifting it only one time? Because, because we're dividing by ten, and ten has one zero. So we're going to shift it over one place. And I want you to draw the arrows just like that, okay? Okay. All right, so we're going to shift the one over. Now what do we do? Shift the two shift over. Shift the two over to the right, one space. And we're going to shift the, the three, three over, over, one space. And that's one. going to be 32.1. So our answer is 32.1. Does that, do you understand? Yes. Okay, do you see how easy that is? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you what. Why don't we do this? Why don't we just change our, nu our numbers slightly? Okay. Let's, rather than divide by um, 10, let's divide by 100. Okay? Now, ask ourselves what question... How many, okay, if we're dividing, which way are we shifting? To the right. We're going to shift to the right because we're going from a big number to a, to a smaller number. And we then are going to say we're going to sh shift it how many spaces? Two. Okay, is there only one person in this classroom? No. No. Okay. Why are we only, why are we going to shift it <coughs> two spaces? Because there are two zeros in a hundred, right? So, let's go ahead and do that. Ready? So we're going to shift the one over how many times and when in which way? Which way? Left. We're going to go to the right. How many spaces? Two. One. Two. Okay, so this is going to be our one. It's in what place? What place is this over here? Do you remember? Hundredths. With a T-H-S. It means a hundred pieces. pieces. Good job. Nice. What about the two? What are we going to do? Shift it. Shift it. Shift it. To the right. Two times to the right. Okay, let's do that. One, two. And how about the three? Shift it two spaces to the right. Shift it two spaces to the right because our hundred has two zeros, right? Yes. Sir. So our answer to this problem is three point two one or three point twenty one. Is the three a smaller number than three hundred twenty one? Yes. yes. So we are going from a big number like 321 
down to a much smaller number, like three. Right? Yes. If we turn this into money, it would be three dollars and twenty-one cents. Right. And last time we had thirty-two. Right. Point one. So it still went from big to small, didn't it? Does everybody see that? Yes. Any questions? Okay, now here's the biggest trick. This is the biggest trick to this. Keeping your, see these decimals? Do you notice that all the decimals are lined up? You have to make sure you keep your decimals lined up. And then you need to make sure you keep your, what? Columns. Your place, come on, place value, place value lined up. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, ready for another problem? Yes. All right, here we go. Let's use a different color, let's use green. All right, let's say I have 3.2 and I'm going to divide by 10. Okay. Where do I put, say it with me, 3, 2. If you notice, 3 and then the decimal point, right, point 2, 3.2. So where do you think we're going to put that on our line here? We're going to put the 3 in the 1's place, and we're going to put the 2 in the tenths with a THS, right? Yes. Okay. How many places are we going to shift it? One. Why? Because there's one zero. There's one zero in a ten. So we're going to shift it. Everybody say it. Since we're dividing by ten, we're going to shift it to the right one time. Because there's one zero. Nice. So we're shifting that one there. That's our two. So what do we have actually now? Two. We have two pennies, Please. right? Yes. And then what are we going to do with the three? Shift it to the right. Shift it to the right, and it becomes thirty-two cents. So we we had three dollars and twenty cents, and if we divided our three dollars and twenty cents amongst our friends, we would each get. 0.32 or 32 cents. That's all we get each, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Seemed like a lot of money when it was three dollars and twenty cents, but when you have ten friends, it goes in a hurry, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Does everybody understand this? Yes. Are there any questions about this? No. Okay. Do you want to do another one just so that yes. we can yes. keep practicing? Yes. Okay. I'll change my color again. Um, let's go with orange. I haven't used orange for a while. Um, you want to make a big number? Yes. yes. Let's make a number like um, 1, 2, 3, 4 divided by, divided by 100. Okay. So where do I put the 1, 2, 3, and 4? Where do I put that? Hey, thank you. Somebody else give me an answer rather than just her. Uh, the one goes in the thousands. Well, now the other person. Okay. Where does the two go? Hundreds. Hundreds. Three goes in the? Tens. Tens. Four goes in the? Ones. Ones. Okay. And how many times am I going to shift two. this and in what direction? Two to the right. Why am I going to shift it twice to the right? Because our hundred has two zeros, doesn't it? So that means we're going to take the four and we're going to put it in where? One, two, everybody, hundredths. So that means it's turned into how many cents now? Four cents. How about a three? What does that get turned into? Three? three? Thirty cents. Thirty cents, or three dimes. Good job. How about our two? In the one. It gets turned into two dollars, huh? 
And then how about our thousand? So, if we had our friends, our ten friends were over again, and we had one thousand two hundred and thirty-four dollars, how much would each of us get? Well, that doesn't seem like much, does it? No. So my advice is, don't have ten friends that need stuff, huh? Hundred. Only have a couple. <laughs> Makes it easier. But if you have Oh, how many, how many friends did we have this time? Did we have ten friends? No, a hundred. Oh, I had a hundred friends. No wonder why I ended up with twelve dollars. If I had ten friends, ooh, that's a great question. If I had ten friends, how, many, how much would I end up with? Well, you try to do that on your own while I erase this, okay? Okay, you do that on your own and see if you can figure out what the answer is. If you have 10 friends, do you guys get your answer? Yeah. We're going to uh, shift it to the right. How Just many times? Once. Once. Why once? Because there's one zero. There's only one zero. Remember I said, what if we had 10 friends? Yeah. If we have 100 friends, we're only going to end up with $12 each, right? Yeah. So how much are we going to end up with if we have 10 friends? Well, let's find out. How many times do I shift it? One. Okay. So the four goes? In the tenths. So that means I'm going to get how many dimes? Uh, four dimes. Four dimes. How many dollars? Three dollars, thank you. How many ten dollar bills am I going to end up with? Two. Yeah. And how many... Hundred dollar bills am I going to end up with? One. So what am I going to end up with? Hundred and twenty-three dollars and forty cents, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So if I had ten friends, it'd be better to share that with ten friends than it would be sharing it with a hundred friends, huh? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So do you understand the shifting method as it works for um, division? Yes. yes. Okay. It's just that easy. It's as easy as shifting in the multiplying. The only difference is, is shifting in division. We're going to be shifting in what direction? To the right. To the right. To the right. So make sure that it's to the right in, div in division. And when we do multiplication, we are shifting to the yeah. left. Good job. I'm glad to... Uh, to see that you guys are getting it, practice this, watch it over again if you need to. I love math.